My name is Adam Bacchus. I'm one of the researchers at the Gulf of Maine Research Institute, and I use acoustics to study marine organisms throughout the ocean. So acoustics can mean all kinds of different things. Uh, passive acoustics is when you're listening to sound that's created by animals in the ocean. People might think about whale songs or all kinds of fish and other organisms can make sound. You can listen to that and learn about what those animals are doing and where they are. The techniques we use are called active acoustics. We create sound using a device we put in the bottom of our boat called a transducer, and we learn something about the organisms in the water based on what sound gets bounced back to us. The two things we learn from acoustics are where things are in the water column and what type of animals they are. So where they are in the water column is determined from how long it takes the sound to get there and bounce back to the boat, and what they are is determined by how much sound they bounce back to the boat. But if we think about organisms bouncing back sound to the boat, how much sound they bounce back really is dependent on what they're made out of. So a jellyfish that's made out of mostly water doesn't bounce back very much sound. But a fish that's made out of hard scales and has an air bladder in there is going to bounce back a lot of sound. So we can tell the difference between those two organisms based on how much sound is reflected back to the boat. Unlike some fish finders, our data doesn't show a little fish symbol when there's a fish below the boat. It just bounces back the sound, and it's our job to interpret that sound to figure out what species of fish are below us. To do that, we use a process called ground truthing. Ground truthing is a process of using nets and cameras to match the species of fish below the boat with the acoustic signal we see in the data. The ocean is a huge place, and it's filled with organisms in patches here and there. You can see a fish school over on this side, shoals of plankton down deep in the water, and there can be stretches in between with not much life. The advantage of sampling with acoustics is that we can do long surveys. The surveys that we do go anywhere from 40, 60, 80 miles at a time. So that advantage is that we can see all of those areas, not just sampling one time at one place. Whether we're studying shrimp in the coastal waters, or shoals of herring across the Gulf of Maine, acoustics is a powerful tool that we use in a lot of our research here at the lab.